After suffering just its second loss of the season earlier in the week, the Sunapee Boys basketball team had a big measuring stick game Friday against an Epping team many predicted to win the division. The Blue Devils entered the Sherburne Gymnasium with just one loss so far on its record, and shot its way to a 9-2 lead minutes into the contest behind buckets like this. But Sunapee refused to give in against its heavily favored opponent, and fought its way to a 6-point lead by the end of the opening quarter. The Lakers extended that advantage to 8 by halftime, benefiting from some precision shooting from beyond the arc like this tray from senior point guard Matt Tenney. Coach Ed Tenney's team kept pouring it on from there, too, hustling its way to a statement 70-47 victory, much to the delight of the home crowd. When all was said and done, it was Matt Tenney who led all scorers with 26 points, followed by classmate Isaiah Chappelle with 18, including this nifty drive to the bucket. The teams will meet one more time during the regular season when Sunapee travels to Epping February 19th. The Lakers will try and win a third straight game tomorrow when they travel to face New. And now taking a look at the YCN scoreboard, the Kearsarge boys basketball team rattled off a fourth straight victory Friday night, topping Mascoma by a comfortable margin to improve to 8-2. Over in Claremont, Stevens bounced back from its first loss in four games with a nice win over Hillsborough Deering, benefiting from a 21-point effort from Richard Bell. K.J. Matty led Lebanon with 20 points to help lift the Raiders past Mascoma, and it was Mike Bradley's game-high 26 points that helped fuel a Windsor's win over cross-state rival Newport. On the girls' side, Lebanon had no trouble bouncing back from its first loss of the season, besting South Egan by 21 points to improve to 9-1 on the year. Stevens earned its fourth win of the season in a low-scoring affair with Hillsborough Deering, benefiting from a five-point effort from Emerly Barkin. And on the ice, Sage Ballard and Grace Lindsay each score twice to lift Lebanon past Bishop Brady Trinity. That does it for YCN Sports, brought to you by La Valley Building Supply. I'm Mike Pizzone.